Hey everybody, it's Tiffany from Quilters Workshop and today I'm going to be showing you how to do what I call a bowl cozy. Um, a bowl cozy is basically this little bowl shaped piece of material and what I use it for is if I'm going to be cooking something in the microwave or maybe reheating something in the microwave, it's designed so that it can hold a really large bowl and then when you take it out of the microwave you can use it as a trivet for your table or just prevent your hands from being burnt when you're taking the glass out. Um, the other really important thing and the whole point of this video actually is because you cannot make this in just a regular batting inside. You have to make sure that you have batting that can be microwaved. So the kind of batting that I'm using is the Warm Tater 100% Natural Cotton Batting. Um, and this is made from the Warm Company, so the Warm Company has um, Warm and Natural, Warm and White, um, other brands of regular quilt batting that you would use for normal projects. But this one is specifically designed to be put in the microwave <laughs> so that nothing will happen to your microwave. Um, and that's really, really important because I have seen so many people that try and just make either potato bags or... Um, things like this are things that they want or think that can go in the microwave and obviously it ends up catching on fire and that's just not good. So definitely get some warm tater before you do this project. Please do not try and do it with regular quilt batting. So the first thing that we're going to do to make our little bowl cozy here is we're going to have two different pieces of material and you can use um, the same fabric for both sides or if you don't have enough of all the same fabric you could for sure use one fabric for the inside of your cozy and one for the outside that's no problem so the one that I'm going to be making right now is going to have the same fabric on both sides I've already cut it and this is a hundred percent cotton quilting fabric so I've cut two squares that are 15 by 15 one right here and one over there and the exact same size we're also going to be cutting two squares that are 15 by 15 in our warm tater batting. So the first step is we're going to lay down one piece of batting with a piece of fabric on top making sure that our edges are as even as you can get them and we're going to go ahead and sew a line that is exactly corner to corner on both sides. So we're going to be quilting an X on both of our pieces. Okay, so now that we have done our little X sewing lines um, on both of our pieces, we're going to mark the middle of each of our sides with a pin. So I've just folded my whole square in half like this and then put a pin there. And then I've taken a little ruler and I've measured one inch in from the top edge here and made a little mark with a pen. And then I've measured two and a half inches from the top to here. And then I've traced a line just connecting those two points. So you're going to do that on each of your corners, or sorry, each of the middles that we've just marked on our piece of, of fabric. And we're going to make one of these little darts on each side. And this is going to be the seams that you see right here and that really just helps give us that bowl shape. So there's going to be one seam here, here, here and over here. So you're going to be doing that eight times. So four darts on each of your two pieces. Okay. So now that we've gone ahead and sewn all of our darts on all four sides, we're going to have our piece of fabric and it has now our little bowl shape. So that's really good. And from the back side, this is what it's going to look like. You can see where I've sewn my X and you can see my little darts. So before we sew um, our two pieces together, I want to take our darts and cut so that we only have a quarter of an inch from the stitching line to the end of our fabric. And that's just going to help cut back on the amount of bulk that is inside of our bowl cozy. So on this one, I've already gone ahead and done it. So I have just a quarter of an inch from the stitching to the end of the fabric and you're going to cut all four of those off. Okay, now that we have all of our excess fabric from the darts trimmed off, I want you to put one of your uh, sides of the bowl cozy on a table just like this so that the pretty side of the material is facing us. And then we're going to take the other piece and we're going to push it so that it is the opposite way. So that if you sat it down on the table to look like a bowl shape, you're going to see just the batting side. I want you to put them on top of each other or rather so that they fit inside of each other. And we're going to go ahead and pin these edges all the way around. First, make sure though that 
when you start pinning, I want you to pin starting in the middle of each side so that the seams from your darts line up. So you're going to go ahead and put one, two, three, four pins in. After you finish pinning the seams, you're going to go ahead and go to the corner, make sure that your corners match up, put a pin on all four corners, and then you're going to sew a 3 8 seam allowance all the way around the outside of our bowl cozy, and you're going to leave an opening um, in the middle of one of these edges, not too close to the seam and not too close to the corner either, but just three or four inches are big enough that you can reach your hand inside, and that's going to be our little hole that we're going to use to turn it later. Here's what we have now after we've done finished um, sewing all the way around the edges. Sorry if I'm jumbling up my words a lot, guys. I'm not really feeling that well today and my voice is really nasally sounding, but I really want to do this video for you. So we have our little opening right here. So now that we've sewn all the way around, we're going to actually just open up our little hole here and we can see the pretty sides of our original fabric and we're going to be reaching in there and flipping it right side out in just a second. But before you do that, I just want you to go ahead, go to your corners here and clip them off on a diagonal. Um, that also helps with the bulkiness the same way that we've trimmed down on our darts here. And at each of our darts, see if I can get there we go um you're going to make a little snip in your fabric right here sort of on a diagonal and over here as well and that's just going to help the fabric become a little bit more flexible when we go to flip it right side out now that I have my bowl cozy turned right side out this is what I see so the little opening that we had from before to turn our bowl cozy right side out with I've just folded in the edges um, so that it is even and straight with the rest of the seam and just stuck a couple of pins in there to hold it for a second um, the last step that we have to do is to top stitch it. So if we look at the one that I already had completed, I went all the way around the edges very, very closely and just stitched um, all the way along. And that's going to prevent this from happening. So if you see that the lining and the front, um, there's a lot of layers in there, especially because in the middle here, that's where our seams from our darts were. It's going to roll a lot. And because this is something that is going to have contact with food, we're going to want to be washing it quite often compared to some other um, homemade things that you might be doing. So we want to make sure that before you go ahead and pin this, maybe press these edges so you can get them as flat as possible and also make sure that you push out your corners as far as you can. If that means reaching in again from the inside and giving it a good poke, um, you can even use like the end of a pen or a seam ripper um, to help push that out so it's nice and sharp. And then you're going to go ahead and pin it and sew just an eighth of an inch all the way around very very close um do go slowly over your seams and your corners because it is very thick and it is sort of likely that you may break a needle while you're doing it and here we are with our finished and completed bowl cozy so we've done our top stitching all the way around the edges there and the fabric will be a little bit loose in the middle but it will relax over time like the more that you use it and as soon as you sit some things in it for a while it will relax and smooth itself out so there we go and if you have any further questions you can send me an email at quilters.workshop at gmail.com thank you so much for watching